Hello everyone. We're back this week and we're starting a new series on the Sermon on the Mount. Each week we'll talk about different about the Beatitudes, but the Sermon on the Mount was probably Jesus' most famous sermon. And he was called the Sermon on the Mount because he was either on a mountain or a hillside, probably a hillside, when he gave that message and the people were down below him sitting on the hillside. And in within the Sermon on the Mount is the Beatitudes. And the Beatitudes talk about people who were struggling and hurting and how they were blessed. And today we're gonna to talk about God blesses those who struggle. So when we struggle, we're not too happy about it and sometimes maybe our attitudes aren't right. And Matthew chapter five and verse 15 says, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. We should always show a Christian attitude and example, even though we're going through some struggles. We're going to look at a video on Fortune, and he went through some real struggles, but yet he kept a Christian positive attitude. Let's watch this. Today, we're here in the village of Katete at the home of Fortune. Every morning, Fortune wakes up before the sun rises and walks down to the village well to get fresh water. When he gets back, everyone is awake and waiting. He helps his mom by washing the dishes, collecting wood, and starting the fire for breakfast. Hey, what's that goat doing? Goats can't do dishes. Before he can eat, Fortune takes some of the fresh water and showers up. After breakfast, he puts on his school uniform and combs his hair. Looking sharp, Fortune. He says goodbye to his mother, and he's off. Fortune's school is in a neighboring village about an hour and a half away from his home. Luckily for Fortune, it... never snows in Zambia. Every morning, Fortune and his friend Gary string up the Zambian flag and hoist it into the air. Fortune loves learning and plans to be a doctor someday. At lunchtime, Fortune rings the recess bell and all the kids gather around the school's well. After school, Fortune walks home and plays with the children from his village. One of their favorite games is soccer. But because most of them don't have the money to buy a real soccer ball, Fortune shows us how they use plastic bags and string to make their own. Not bad. Let's see how he does with a real soccer ball. Fortune? When Fortune was just a little boy, his mother was in an accident that paralyzed her from the waist down. She couldn't move her legs at all. Since their family didn't have the money, some members of the community put together a makeshift wheelchair. Fortune's mother enjoys sitting under the hut and weaves together string to make fishing nets. The money that she makes from the nets helps pay for Fortune's school and other necessities. Not long after the accident, Fortune decided he was going to help his mom put food on the table by catching fish. Every evening, he starts by digging up some worms. Yummy. Then he goes down to the river, picks a spot, and casts his line. Doesn't look like the fish are biting here. Maybe he'll have luck in another spot. This looks better. You caught one. Good job, Fortune. Back at home, Fortune boils a pot of Inchima strews up some vegetables, and fries up his fish. Delicious!
Fortune's mother always prays to thank God for what they do have. One day, their neighbor surprised Fortune and his mother by scraping enough money together to buy her a brand new wheelchair. Even though what happened to Fortune's mother was really sad, Fortune has gotten to see God's blessings. Fortune knows that God blesses those who struggle. Wow, none of us struggle like that, do we? If something happened to our mom that she couldn't walk anymore, we would have a nice wheelchair, we'd have people to help take care of us, all those wonderful things. You don't go home from school and then have to go find some food for supper, do you? But Fortune did, but Fortune wasn't sad about it. Fortune went with his struggle, he depended on God, and God blessed him. They counted that wheelchair an amazing blessing, and it was. But sometimes all we see is the things that go wrong. You know, Fortune had a lot of great things he looked at. He could fish for food. That was a blessing. He had friends at school. That was a blessing. He had a well where he could pump clean, fresh water. That was a blessing. He had so many good things to look at. He didn't spend time looking at the struggle. He looked at all the blessings that God gave us because God blesses us in the struggle if we allow him to. You know, there's a lot of struggles you go through. And I asked somebody today, I said, if I ask you what your worst struggle was, and this was a student, a child, and she said, school. School is hard sometimes. I'm shy and I don't make a lot of friends. And different things like that. There were a lot of things that went with school that made it a struggle. So you have to look at the good things. Okay, if you had two friends, that's a blessing, right? If you were working hard on your grades, that's a blessing. There's so many good things. We look at, oh, we're happy. Our attitude is good because we got a new puppy or grandma gave you $50 or you won the soccer championship. So all those things, we have a great attitude, it's good, we're blessed. But what about if you failed the test? Or what if you got grounded? Or you broke an arm? Are you still blessed? Well, of course you are. Of course you're still blessed. When we go through those struggles, they can make us stronger if we trust in God and have our faith in Him. Because He blesses us through the struggles. It's really hard sometimes. And way back in the Bible days, they struggled too. And if we look in Matthew chapter 5, where the Sermon on the Mount is, and we start in verse 3 and look at the Beatitudes, let's see who God blessed. He says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets that were before you. So some of those things aren't anything I'd be too happy about. Some of them are a choice, whether you choose to be pure and hard or, or whether you choose to be a peacemaker, then you'll be blessed for those choices. But most of them are the circumstances of life. And a circumstance is a situation that you are in no, of no choosing of your own even in those circumstances, things that happen. So what if your best friend's parents are getting a divorce? Is there a blessing in there somewhere? The blessing is that you are a Christian and you can pray for that family. We have to look at the best parts. There's downs and there's ups. And we need to always look up. Because when we look up, God blesses us. When we trust him, he blesses us. So no matter what you're going through, I want you to think one minute right now, what is your struggle? What are you struggling with? What is your concern? What is bothering you? 
what's going on in your life and in your home. So no matter what your struggle is, God wants to bless you. He is always there for you. Remember the scripture, be thankful in all circumstances in Thessalonians. We need to be thankful. No matter what our situation is, be thankful and trust God. God blesses those who struggle. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and we thank you for your blessings. We thank you that you're still there even when we grumble and complain and have a poor attitude. Please forgive us for those times, Lord. Please remind us how blessed we are, how much we have, and how lucky we are to live where we live and that we have all these wonderful things around us, the beautiful trees and the parks and all the water and the things that you've given to us to enjoy and see your handiwork. We pray, Lord, that we would always look about and we would always see your blessings. We thank you for everything you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, kids, if you've been coming to church soon, actually July 5th, we are going to have our first children's church service. It will be in the 11 o'clock service. It's going to be a little bit different, but we will finally get back to having a little bit of children's church, and I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great day.